Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making vegan crunch wraps from Taco Bell. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these. They came out like basically perfect. I mean, I don't want to say anything's perfect because I don't want to be critiqued, but these are as close to perfection as I think I've ever gotten. They were also approved by non-vegans. Everybody who tried them said they tasted really good. They remind them exactly of the Taco Bell ones, the textures, the flavors, everything. So I think you guys are really going to love them. They're actually a lot easier than I thought they would be to make. So yeah, the one thing I want to say before we get into it, well, I have two things actually. The first, I don't know what happened with me yesterday when I was filming this, but some of the camera angles are not my best work. I apologize in advance if things are like a little crooked and weird. I don't really know what happened. And the second is that I'm gonna post an alternative to the cheese sauce. If you're allergic to nuts, I will post it um, in the description box down below from the nachos video. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So let's hop right into this delicious recipe. We're gonna start this off by making our cheese sauce. So I'm adding four cups of water into a pot then we're going to add one and a half cups of potatoes that i just kind of chopped up it was one potato this is what it came out to half a cup of raw cashews and if you want to save some money buy the cashew pieces instead of whole cashews and then one carrot chopped up for color we're gonna let this boil for like 20 minutes while that's boiling let's work on our ground beef filling our vegan ground beef filling so i'm going to add some oil into a pan and then i'm adding a little bit of onion we're gonna let that cook for a few minutes until the onions are nice and translucent, fragrant. This is gonna help give the vegan ground beef crumbles more flavor. Then we're gonna add in a whole pack of these groundless, beefless ground beef crumbles. It's such a tongue twister to say that. These are the ones from Trader Joe's. I love these, they're like $2.99. They're really good, they're actually my favorite ones. So I'm just gonna use a spatula, break them up a little bit and kind of get them cooking a little. You don't have to cook them for too long, only a few minutes. And then I'm gonna add the taco seasoning mix also from Trader Joe's because I love that one, it's delicious and they, you have to just check, some of them have milk in them so make sure to check the one from Trader Joe's is definitely vegan. So I added in, I don't know, like a tablespoon and I just let that cook. So once everything was all soft and done boiling, we can add that into a blender, high speed blender. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of vegan cheddar cheese shreds. This is optional, but I like to do it. We're gonna add in some non-dairy milk. I'm using unsweetened original almond milk. Make sure it's unsweetened and no flavors. Otherwise, you'll end up with vanilla tasting cheese. We're gonna have some salt in there because she's a salty and nutritional yeast. And you're just going to blend this up. You may need to add more almond milk. I usually start with about half a cup and then I add more as I go. And you don't have to use almond milk. You can use any non-dairy milk you like. Let it go until it's nice and smooth. It should look something like this. It's really thick and cheesy and delicious. And I love this cheese sauce. It's like my favorite one to make. So now we're gonna form our crunch wrap. So I used a little street taco as my like kind of sealant at the end, you'll see it. So we're gonna spoon on some of the beefless ground beef crumbles into a little circle. Then we're gonna pour on some of this cheese sauce. Oh, look at that, so good, so thick, delicious. Okay, then we're gonna add tortilla chips. I saw some recipes said to add tostadas. I couldn't find tostadas, the tortilla chips work fine. Then we're gonna spoon on some vegan sour cream and kind of spread that out on top. It's kind of nice because it kind of like seals the tortilla chips together, so I really like that. Not a lot, maybe like a tablespoon. Then we're gonna add some lettuce and tomato and then a little bit more of our vegan cheese sauce. And then we are going to put that street taco on top of all of that. So now as we fold it over, that's what's gonna make the whole thing sealed up and look like the one from Taco Bell. So I just kind of folded it and made little pleats and folded the edges up. There was no really right or wrong way to do this. Some of them came out prettier than others, but you're just kind of folding and taking the sides up and you're gonna end up with kind of like a hexagon or an octagon or it just kind of depends. So once you're done folding it up, you actually wanna flip it over. It's gonna actually stay more secure that way and then we're gonna put it face side down into a pan in a few minutes. So just flip it over and then it's actually more secure and easier to hold. So I'm just gonna show you how to make another one just in case you need to watch anything over again. All in all though, these were actually very easy to make, way easier than I thought they would be, and they came out really delicious. So, so I'm just folding this one up again, and as you can see, this one came out not as pretty as the first one, and that's totally fine, who really cares? Okay, so then we're gonna go over to our pan, I'm adding a little bit of oil in there, and we're going to just take, I like to take a silicone brush and kind of spread it around so it's evenly distributed. 
in the bottom of the pan. We're going to take the crunch wrap face side down and put it in there and let it cook for like three-ish minutes on a medium heat just so it gets nice and sealed and crispy on the one side. And you can see like the little bubbles forming. It's kind of like frying the tortilla. And then you can also press down a little bit with a spatula if you like. And I'm just going to flip it over. Then you can cook the other side for a few minutes as well until it's nice and golden and crispy. And that's it. These are them. They're all done. I got four of them from this recipe. And now let's cut it in half because that's the best moment of all. Cutting it in half and it's going to look something like this. And you have all these beautiful layers and cheesiness and sauciness and just looks so good. So they looked actually really pretty kind of like all together when they were done before I cut into the rest of them. And then these are them all stacked up. So good. You'll have extra leftover queso as well. So you are welcome for that. <laughs> and yeah, these are just delicious. You guys are gonna love them. I just know it. All right, everybody, that was our recipe. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, the full recipe is on my blog. There is a link in the description box down below for that. If you want to just know the ingredients, they're listed on the description box down below. If you make this, please be sure to tag me on Instagram. I love to see recreations and I'd love to see these recreations. If you like the video, you already know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really, really helps the channel out. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.